Oil is said to be the lifeblood of our global society. The worldwide consumption of oil is about 85 million barrels a day or about a thousand barrels every second. Oil is used for industrial purposes that drive our many urban settlements and factories that provide power and other resources that we take for granted every day. Transportation is largely dependent on fossil fuels. Food security and availability is becoming more and more dependent on oil and fossil fuels. Many countries are importing more and more food such as vegetables and animal products. As the availability of oil becomes less and less, the price of those imported resources would increase. And the global population growth being exponential, food security will become less certain. Knowing all of this, the question that is often asked is whether companies should be allowed to continue offshore oil production in West Africa. In 1956, Shell British Petroleum, now Royal Dutch Shell, discovered crude oil in a village in the Niger Delta and commercial production began in 1958. Today, there are 606 oil fields in the Niger Delta, of which 360 are onshore and 246 offshore. Nigeria is the largest oil producer in Africa and the sixth largest in the world, averaging 2.7 million barrels per day. Nigeria's economy is heavily dependent on earnings from oil, which provides 20% of the GDP, 95% of foreign exchange earnings, and about 65% of budgetary revenues. But at what cost to the environment and their livelihoods? This is Nigeria. The coastal area is low-lying with heights of not more than 3 meters above sea level and is generally covered by freshwater swamp, mangrove swamp, lagoonal mashes, tidal channels, beach ridges and sandbars. Nigeria's total land and water area is over 923,000 square kilometers with the area of land being 910,000 square kilometers while that of water is 13,000 square kilometers. The Nigerian coastal zone experiences a tropical climate consisting of rainy season and dry season which is December to March. High temperatures and humidity as well as marked wet and dry seasons characterize the Nigerian climate. The coastal areas have an annual rainfall ranging between 1,500 and 4,000 millimeters. Impacts of oil spill incidences on Nigerian coastal areas. When there is an oil spill on water, spreading immediately takes place. The gaseous and liquid components evaporate. Some get dissolved in water and even oxidize, and yet some undergo bacterial changes and eventually sink to the bottom of the gravitational action. The soil is then contaminated with a gross effect upon the terrestrial life. As the evaporation of the volatile lower molecular weight components affect aerial life, so the desolation of less volatile components with the resulting emulsified water affects aquatic life as well as terrestrial. The harmful effects of oil spill on the environment are many. Oil kills plants and animals in the estuarine zone. Oil settles on beaches and kills organisms that live there. 
it also settles on ocean floor and kills bethnic bottom dwelling organisms such as crabs. It also coats birds, impairing their flight or reducing the insolative property of their feathers, thus making the birds more vulnerable to cold. Oil endangers fish hatcheries in coastal waters as well as contaminates the flesh of commercially valuable fish. Speaking to a local farmer who lives within the Niger, Niger Delta, <laughs> where all spills occur daily, he plans to take on a giant oil company and if he wins, he stands to gain millions of dollars in court. This is what he had to say. The worst thing to ever happen in my life are these oil spills. I have recently inherited this fish farm from my father. And it has been the way my family has provided for countless generations. It is all I know. Without it, I don't know how I will support my family. My heart breaks when I think of the future that lies ahead for my children. Thank you, sir. This is just one of the many stories to come out of the Niger Delta. Not only is the land affected by the oil po pollution, but also affected by the oil tankers that cause soil compaction, which has a negative effect on the soil. Oil fumes pollute the atmosphere and is a catalyst for wildfires. That being said, with all the obvious negative aspects of oil production, one would think that the Nigerian government would step in and stop the processes. However, this is not the case. The Nigerian government receives tons of money from oil companies annually and therefore will turn a blind eye to damage caused by the oil production in the Niger Delta. With all this, I would say that the company should stop offshore oil production in West Africa, but it's not my opinion that would change this. <laughs>